Hey guys, we're here. We are in AZ. Woohoo! Yeah, we're here in Arizona. I was about to say avocado. But anyways, um, something I did not know about Arizona is they had this many palm trees. I'm gonna go to the front yard real fast and show you guys what it looks like up there. So pretty, but I'm so happy to be here. Um, it is so nice how, oh, not only do they have these beautiful cactuses, but look how many palm trees they also have. So pretty. Gorgeous, I'm in love. But yes, we made it here after 28 hours. So happy to finally be here. It's so warm and sunny. I think it's like, I don't know how warm it is, but I'm not gonna lie guys. It's not the first day I've been here It's actually the third day our, our third day here. So, um, I kind of want to enjoy the first couple Honestly, I did film but they weren't like it wasn't very good content. So Anywho, Anywho We're out here beautiful beautiful day. It is currently What time is it? Let's see. I woke up at 5 45. It's currently 6 20 or 9 23. Sorry, but it's so weird The time is throwing me off completely because it's like I wake up so early, but now I'm hungry and it's not even 10 o'clock. So anyway, anyways, we're supposed to be going to some fun little town today in downtown Scottsville. Um, but we're having air conditioning problems. So we're bringing an air conditioning guy to our house to fix it. However, we don't know when he's coming. So we're pretty much just waiting and waiting, which is the most annoying thing in the world because you want to just get out and do stuff. But we can't. So anywho, that's that. Um, we're just chilling outside today. It's nice. I don't think I'm going to get in the pool because I just did my hair and got dressed and everything and if I do I'm just gonna dip the bottom half in and not the top half so anyways that's that um I think I'm actually I'm gonna go eat now because I'm actually so hungry it's so funny how early we eat. we were just talking it's like you gotta eat four meals here you eat like six then you eat at like ten then you eat at like two then you eat dinner so it's like you have to have four meals here um anyways yeah mine's just taking a nice little float in the pool Stay tuned guys for a full house tour because that's just the beginning of the house. That's just the beginning of the house. So anyways, um, yeah, we're out here. Super fun, super exciting. Um, I'm gonna, oh, also guys, first of all, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Second of all, if you aren't subscribed, subscribe. Cause guys, I've been checking my analytics and half the people who view, more than half the people who watch my videos aren't even subscribed. So subscribe if you aren't subscribed. <laughs> guys, I'm definitely gonna be posting a ton, a ton of content in the next couple of months. So yeah, um, also what I want to say is stay tuned for the house tour, but also I'm going to explain the whole title of this video, so just stay tuned, I will get to it. Okay guys, so we're on lunch number one of the day. So, pretty much last night for dinner we had Barro's Pizza, which I'd never tried before, but it was good, good. Lunch number one? Yep, lunch number one. Number two in like a couple hours. Oh. So anyways, um, we're having salad. Oh! A pizza slice and bread and a bread stick, and a cheese bread which okay comment down below if you think cheese bread is literally so pointless because think about it it's literally bread with cheese like a cheese pizza minus the sauce but then you dip it in sauce so it's literally a slice of cheese pizza that you pay extra for okay guys so they're all going swimming hopefully you can't hear the music in the background so hopefully i don't get copyrighted but anyways um yeah so they're going swimming i decided i don't want to go swimming i don't want to get wet but i still changed into a swimsuit here we go top is from sheen bottoms are from target Sunglasses are from well, That is the fit. I'm having a great time. The we just got informed that the air conditioning guy is coming at anywhere between 12, 10 and 12, and it's 10 right now. So that's really good. We can still have a ton of time to hang out and have a great time. So JK, change of plans. The air conditioning guy already left. He just left. He's going to get a new filter. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what he's talking about. So, anyways, um we actually can go now. So I'm gonna change back into my normal and then we will get going to old old town scottsdale I think it's, called. it's like a downtown area i guess but it's gonna be super fun and i'm super excited oh so i'm just gonna quickly change and we will be ready okay so i don't think i gave you ot today so here's our OOTs. the lighting is very bad i apologize but so fit i don't know if i already gave it i don't think i did but i'm wearing this top this tank top from garage that i might have to adjust because it was too long on me um, shorts from Aeropostale, shoes I'm wearing Vans, and I'm just wearing my sunglasses. So that's the fit of the day. But yeah, we are now going out to um, the little town, so this should be fun. I'll take you guys along with me, of course. We're here, we're going, woohoo! Yes, I do, am I? It's so pretty outside. We made it. There's a ton of cute stores. We already found stuff that we wanted, but we aren't gonna buy it yet. 
we're gonna wait till we go back around the circle, but this is really cute, all old fashioned -y little shopping centers. And look at the lights, so cute. Okay guys, it's super sweaty out here, but we just bought some super cute little like beach blankets at this one store and it was so incredibly heavy. Yeah. Tia, whoa, whoa. Oh, yes. Tia just took some cute photos in front of the yes. mission church, so happy. cute. They turned out really, really, well, we didn't see them, but whenever she was posing, is really cute. So, anywho, we're now going to Phoenix because, like I said, um, it's not like Arizona's hot travel time. So yeah. not that many yeah. things are open. People normally don't come in the hottest season like we do, but... We're yeah, different. we're built different. So, <laughs> anywho, we're off to Phoenix. Cool. It's like 30 minutes from here. And we're gonna have another adventure. Yeah. We're gonna get it downtown. It's super pretty. There's a ton of walls that we're gonna take photos at. Super cute, super festive. So we're back from the wall. We took some cute photos. Um, it, I don't know if you know. I'm sorry for that. But anyways, it is, um, we thought we were in downtown, but like, I guess we weren't in downtown. I don't really know. But we went to the gas station and got some drinks, so I got it. And then I also have my water bottle. So we're staying hydrated. They're good. Tia's having a hard time coloring the meat. Um, I mean, yes. But, anywho. This will update you when we make it downtown. Guys, the time has come. Time for second lunch. We're all getting kind of hungry. Time for second lunch. But uh, we're thinking about. Uh, we try okay, so downtown Phoenix, let me inform you, is not what we thought it was. We were thinking like more of like a cute little shopping area, which is a lot of what um, downtown Scottsdale was. Like a lot of like, cute little shops. But here there's like just like, buildings and McDonald's. So. We're trying to find something to do, maybe a mall or something. So that's the update on that. Like I said, I'm getting hungry for my second lunch, so let's see what we get. We made it. Oh, we're going to the mall. I'm a little nervous because I don't really want to spend money, but it's, it's okay. It's for all for good cause. But oh, it smells good. It smells like cologne. So we're here. We got some what's the pretzel. I want one. Because I didn't know they had cinnamon. Cinnamon pie. These like a six out of ten. Okay, so we're in the bathroom, right? Spent $75. Ridiculous. But I got four pairs of shorts. That's, that's great. So, anywho, I don't know why the vibe is not immaculate right now, but look at this nice mirror. Okay, we're walking, right? There was this whole group of like puppy. They were younger skater boys. Like probably eighth or ninth. But they all had skateboards. But they had skateboards. Yeah. I don't know why they were in the mall with skateboards. But what are they gonna do? Skateboard down the stairs? That's embarrassing. But, <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So it was so funny because we got off and they did like tap their front and did a whole line. Definitely at me. Though. I don't know. I don't know. Comment down below who they're looking at. We're back from the mall. We're going out to dinner now. We're going to this place, it's a Mexican restaurant, don't know what it's called. We're waiting to be seated outside, but they're taking forever. What is this Barrio place called? Barrio Queen. Barrio Queen. Yeah. Barrio Queen. If I was in Spanish, I would have said El Barrio El, El Queen. Yeah, because she's a horrible accent. A horrible accent. But anyways, um, anywho, so yeah. Um, we're going there, but we just actually, Got off the phone with the people at the Grand Canyon and we got a sunset Grand Canyon tour hey, tomorrow. Hey, hey. So excited. So we're out at lunch or out at dinner. And then got my basic quesadillas. Let's get those at a Mexican restaurant. But they were really bland. All they are are chicken and cheese, so I added onion and pepper. Spice it up a bit. Tio got quesadillas too. Yeah. And yeah, I guess we'll t update you how, how it tastes yeah. when we get it. Okay, so these are the quesadillas. These are not what I thought they were. This, this is not what American yes, quesadilla yeah. looks like. I rose. No, Andrew's filming her. I'm filming mine. Yes, yes, you got them too. And I was so, I've been wanting to try this for so long. It's lemonade. They were eggs. Wait, look at that. Looks like scrambled eggs. They are like scrambled eggs. What's this? They're eggs. That's Mexican. We just finished food. Guys, how do we rate the food? Ah, where do y'all know? Out of 10. I go eight and a half. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Andrew, what do you rate it? 10 out of 10. That was so good. Amaya? 
Six out of ten. Yeah, we're all full, so all of us got boxes. It's not even full though. I'm just. Um, so we're gonna head home. I'm gonna give you guys a haul of what I got when I get home. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. So I'm home. We just got back from the mall and from dinner. Everything was so much fun. I'm gonna give you a little haul of what I got. So first things first, we went to H&M. I know this is like a basic store, but it was just like there. And I got these super cute purple shorts. They're like the texture of like sweatpants so i got purple ones i got like a creamish white one which i used this lighting in the room so hopefully you can tell the color a little better so i got like a creamer white one and then i also got like a light gray super cute and all these are a size small and they were all like 15 to 17 dollars and then i also got these like beachy shorts like i don't know if you can tell the texture they're like like the bath towel texture kind of but they're like the ones you put in the afternoon and swimming. So that's what I got from H&M. So the total of that all ended up being $75. But it's okay. Um, the next thing I got. Oh my goodness, my favorite thing I got. Only $7.50. Keep in mind, where, back where I live, these are like $50 to $60. They are so overpriced. And honestly, this is probably more real than the ones you can buy in Michigan. Comment down below if you think that the Twisty Top Gatorades taste 10 times better than the non-Twisty Top. Don't know. Okay. Anyways, the next thing that I got, my favorite thing. Keep in mind the bag that it came in. So cute. It was from Gilbert Ortega Galleries. It's super cute. It's like a little tiki shop. Not tiki shop. I don't even know what it was. But I got a sherpa blanket. So satisfied with the color of this. So cute. It's literally huge. And I'm so excited to use this at the beach. It's going to be so much fun. And it's just going to be so comfy. So anyways, that's what I got from the store. That was my little haul. <sighs> I love everything that I got. But the blanket is definitely my favorite thing that I got. Um. So, anywho... You've now reached the point of the video where I'm going to explain the title of this video. Um, it's probably what you kind of clicked on the video for. And and so I filmed a video from yesterday explaining the title of this video. So obviously I'm going to look different because it's a whole different day. So I'm going to insert that now. And then after I'm going to come back and explain the things that I didn't really explain the best in the video. So, yes. So I decided I'd make this like a little sit down section. So, okay. As you guys know, the title it says moving to Arizona. Moving past the country. Um, and let me be honest with you, that's definitely clickbait. It's not true. I'm not moving across the country yet. So, here's the deal. Obviously, as you guys know, we took a whole road trip to Arizona. We're in Arizona right now, blah, blah. Well, Arizona is actually where I want to go to college and where I want to live and where I want to start my life. So, however, I've never been to Arizona before. This is my first time here in Arizona. So I kind of came up with all these plans without having ever gone anywhere this hot or this type of weather or this type of environment so it was kind of like a like a fantasized thing that i wanted to do but i wasn't positive so the college i already wanted to go to i already looked into it i did virtual college for it i did virtual college fair um grand canyon university that's right like right 15 minutes from where we're staying um right in phoenix arizona and that's where I want to go to college. However, I obviously that's like what I say, but like I said, I've never been here before, so I don't know anything about the environment. Um, so like being here is kind of crazy because it's like, it's almost like a glimpse of what future could look like for me if I lived here. So it's like I'm here on a vacation, but I'm also here scoping out like my future almost, if that makes sense. So it's kind of crazy. The title says I'm moving to Arizona, but obviously we're not moving yet, yet. But what's another thing is like, if this is where I do end up going to school, like, it's crazy because to think that in two years, that'll be me doing this whole road trip over again, going down to college, drive down to college. So it's crazy to think that that could be me in two years. And two years sounds like a long time, but a 28 hour road trip is not something that you're going to forget within a year. Like, I don't remember the torture that 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 trip, that this drive down here was, which it wasn't horrible, but it was not the best thing. I would have way rather flew, but you know. <clears throat> It's just kind of crazy. So that's why I titled this video Moving to Arizona. Obviously, I'm not moving. It's quick day. But I do plan on moving here for the next two years. And this whole trip is kind of like an opportunity for me to see if this is really where I want to start life. If this is where I want to go to college. This is where I want to invest in my future. Um, like I said, I want to go to GCU. Think about that school because it's a Christian college. And I want to be surrounded around that environment of those people. And I know TikTokers who are currently going to that school. And it seems like an amazing environment. I'm following them on Instagram and TikTok and everything. So I really... Um, look forward to hopefully getting to apply there and I pray that's where I get it because that is honestly my dream school at this point where I want to go um, and I want to go in for nursing and missionary and they have great programs there for both of those or even youth 
um, ministry, which is what, something I've also been thinking about getting into. So, um, that's kind of why I named this video that, because those are my plans for the future, is to live here and to grow here and to start my future here. So, me coming here now, as a, about to be an 11th grader, is an amazing, amazing experience. And I honestly had wanted to do a GCU, um, like a college tour. Yeah, so I'm currently in the car editing this right now. We stopped at the gas station, but I just wanted to say that I actually did end up getting a GCU tour in, so stay tuned for that because I filmed a little bit of that. So, stay tuned. I did end up getting a tour. It was so cool. So. I don't know, it's kind of like the start of like deciding where I want to go and where I want to live. So it's kind of cool. So, anywho, that's kind of why I titled this video of it, moving to Arizona. Obviously, you know it's clickbait, but we are staying here for a couple weeks, so it's going to give me a couple weeks to uh, figure out how I feel about this whole thing in Arizona. So, anywho, um, that's my little <laughs> blurb on why I titled the video this. Um, but yeah, so like I said, this is kind of giving me a little taste of what. My future could look like but yeah so that's kind of why i titled the video this obviously it was clickbait at first but it also does have a lot of truths in it because this is where i want to be within the next two years so anywho um i'm probably just gonna end up the night i took some photos today oh my gosh the lighting um i took some photos today so i'm gonna download those and edit um i also need to download some i need to download this video and begin editing it but i also need to finish editing another video that's supposed to be going up and I need to clean my room and clean the whole house because I'm filming a house tour which will come up after this video so stay tuned for the house tour. This house is literally amazing. It's so cool. It has so many little quirky things in it so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, uh, so I'm just going to end up the night kind of chill, hang out, get a lot of stuff I need to get done. Um, I already planned on my YouTube stuff so that's good. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Thank you.